Good morning and welcome to another edition of Fitness Friday. I'm here with Sarah Morrison of Bay Athletic Club, one of my favorites again. And we are talking about the dangers of sitting. Yes, she just did a movement. So we've been having a lot of fun setting up for this so mm -hmm. far. So yeah, sorry. Yeah. I'll pay attention. Oh no, you're fine. <laughs> um, talking about the dangers of sitting, they say it's close to you know being dangerous as smoking, right? Yep, that is the new phrase that sitting is the new smoking. And really in the past 50 years, if you think about it, obesity, being overweight, this epidemic of so much of the population in America has kind of skyrocketed. And a lot of it, if you look at any of the research, is linked to a lack of movement compared to what we had 50 years ago. Mm -hmm. I actually just read um, that they did a study that showed after the age of 25, for every hour that you sit, say you're sitting and watching TV at night, watch one of your favorite shows, it takes 22 minutes off your life compared to smoking every cigarette that you smoke after that age takes 11 minutes. So when you, I will talk to people that be like, oh, I gained like 20 pounds in the last year. And I'm like, okay, what's changed? They're still eating the same. They still go and maybe come here and do their workouts, but they've moved to a job where maybe they were on their feet all day and now they're sitting. Sitting is so dangerous because it puts your body in an idled state. So when we sleep, that's okay. You're meant to be idled. Everything gets a chance to rest. But during the day, your body's like wanting to process the nutrients of the food that you're coming in and the movement helps that happen. Mm -hmm. When you're idle and you're sitting for long periods of time, things shut down, your metabolism slows down, your cells that take in these nutrients and process them and do what they need to do so they can function and you know regulate all the systems of your body how it's meant to be, mm -hmm. they idle. Mm -hmm. So bad stuff starts to happen and, but good news, there's hope. <laughs> Right. I feel and like what, I'm going down a scary home, path. <laughs> so it's actually like this is such an easy thing to fix. And that's why I like talking about it. It's a serious thing that a lot of people have just gotten into the habit of. But I think this is such an easier habit to fix than trying to like break an addiction to Swiss rolls or soda. Like those are things you should fix. Another Fit Friday. But this one, like just even setting a timer, like don't let yourself sit for more than 40 minutes at a time during your day. 45 minutes at a time. And it could be something like at work, here I work at a health studio, I teach classes and stuff, but there could be periods where I might sit for two to three hours if I'm working on like um, a flyer or a video or something like that. And so getting up every 45 minutes, like walking to the bathroom, just doing like some high knees in place, like, I know, I told Star, I was like, I would walk around to my coworkers and be like this. You don't have to do that, but just some kind of movement. And then at home is another time to think about it. Um, oh, hold on, at work. What they really recommend, and you are the one when we were talking about this, was like, yes. I want one of those desks where I can walk yes. and type. That's getting really, really popular. Um, that is definitely the most recommended one, to just have a steady walking pace, like one to two miles per hour while you're typing, and that would change so much. Because with the sitting, we're burning between 1,500 to 2,000 calories less than our bodies naturally used to burn with basic movement. We're not even talking about added workouts here. Like you could still do an added workout, but if you sit all day, mm -hmm. you're burning less. But yet we're eating about 400 calories more on average than we used to about 50 years ago too. So those things together equals lots of fat gain for people. Okay. Um, so walking continuously would be really great. Some other things, like when you take a phone call, like walk around, pace, like even if you're at your house. If you sit and watch a lot of TV at night, every time there's a commercial, get up and like stretch or like go wash a dish or like go check on a kid, like make it a reason to get up and do something. And speaking of kids, you have two kids. I do. Um, now, you would think of being a parent that keeps you <laughs> on your toes and feet all the time, but sometimes they want to sit and play or sit and watch a movie with mommy, but how can you um, suggest mothers out there keep their selves up too as well? Yeah. I was thinking, I was like, yeah, being a parent does not allow me a lot of time to sit. They're like, I need a napkin, I need more milk, something. But um, pay attention, if that keeps you moving, awesome. But if there still might be times in your day, like if they go to work, they probably do sit. That would be a time to apply some of this stuff. And like to teach your kids too, like this is why we don't watch TV for, you know, hours at a time. It's not just that they're like taking in all this stuff on TV and things like that and what that might do for their eyes. Like they're literally just sitting when their bodies are meant to move as well for developmental purposes. Okay, so if we're sitting, you know we have to sleep sometimes out of the day. So if we're sitting, we're okay, that should be what our sleep time, which is what, about eight hours? What do you think? Yeah, you know, I sleep anywhere between like nine to seven hours. 
and your body is meant to do that. And, you know, it's used to when it's dark out, your body releases melatonin, which kind of puts everything to sleep. Like, your body knows what it's doing. When we stop moving and we start eating things that aren't fueling it, it gets very confused. So sleep is meant to be a rest time for all your systems in your body. But when you're awake, you're meant to be moving and it helps your body function better. Well, I'm glad that you gave me some tips and not only me, um, the people of Alpine and everybody that watches Fitness Friday and I'll definitely start moving at my know, desk. We're going to do a little bump. How fun would your office be if you just got up I, and was like, yeah. hey. I know, or just Everyone. walk around the dance floor right. a little bit, like, like you're dancing around right. the desk. I mean, um, people it's just smile. Tips. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I hope you guys keep smiling and, you know, at least try some of these tips that Sarah mentioned. And once again, I'm your host, Star Connor for Fitness Friday, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your Friday. And now let's turn it back.